Hello everyone, this is Team Into Food. How's everyone doing today? Wonderful, great. As you all know, I'm on a healing journey and I am a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, today's video, I would like to talk about um, HSPs. Um, that's hypersensitive people. And I'm just coming from my point of view. Um, I actually, as I'm on this healing journey, I actually discovered that there is actually um, a label or a name to why or why I've always felt a certain way uh, my entire life and I had no clue that it has something to do with me being actually hypersensitive um, as long as I can remember when I was a young woman like in my 20s I can always remember every time I would go um, into walk into a certain room or I would go around certain people, or I would go to certain houses, I would always um, feel like, I would walk into the room and I would pick up this whole, I would pick the whole room up. And what I mean by that is that I could feel everything in that room, everything. I mean, if I walk past something, I could feel that. If I Inter interacted with someone I can feel that whole thing or even if I wasn't interacting with someone I can still pick up this this something like this just like this this vibe was coming back to me and it was just so weird you know and um, I had no clue you know what what is this but I know that every time um, I go somewhere walk into a room I can feel this you know, um, whether someone was saying something to me or not, I could just feel the whole presence of that room. And I even used to have conversations about this with certain people, you know, I was be like, dang, you know, why do I feel like this when I walk into a room or when I go somewhere or why, what is this? You know, I just didn't know what it was. But now as I'm learning on this healing journey, I found out that it is a hypersensitive type of person hypersensitive people we feel everything um we are like sponges you know we pick up everything as if water has been spilled on a counter you know here we are that sponge we soak up we suck it up we suck up everything so one thing i'm learning about being a hypersensitive person is that you have to watch the conversations that you are having with certain people you have to, um, you know, guard the conversations because sometimes um, as a hypersensitive person, people want to come to you and talk to you all the time. And so they want to dump on you, you know, dump their problems, dump their situations, dump their their life or what, what guilt they're going through, what negative situation they're going through. They want to dump all that on you. And being a hypersensitive person, we cannot afford to allow um, people to do that to us because once they dump it onto us, us being the sensitive hyper person or the sponge, we will allow this to like resonate in our bodies like all day, all night. We'll lie down, go to bed, and then the next day we're still thinking about what this person has dumped in our plate, you know, on our table. We're still thinking about that. And so um, that's not good for a hypersensitive personality because a hypersensitive person, um, they don't know how to just shake things off like a, someone that is not a hypersensitive person. You know, the only thing we know to do is to just keep turning this around in our head and in our mind and in our heart and then we being um, hypersensitive people and we're empaths now we're trying to figure out how can we fix this problem or how can we um, you know make it better or how can we interject something else into it you know and so when that's what happens when we're thinking like that and 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 really it's not our problem to try to dissect it and to make it better for this person sometimes we just need to listen and and then that's it 
but we don't know how to listen and just let it stop there. We want to just listen and then we want to pick it up and we want to dissect the problem. Then we want to come back and say, well, this is what you need to do. You know, we don't have no, no boundaries in, in which to stop that, you know, what a, a sensitive person will do. And so we have to really be very careful about um, certain conversations and we have to start um, saying no, you know, to certain people in regards to them wanting to always dump on us and, and crap and dump their crap on us. We have to just say, no, you know, I, I'm busy. I don't want to hear that right now. And I'm just not going to allow you to do this to me because this is what you do all the time. And I'm just not going to let you do this to me anymore. You know, so we have to be very stern in how we deal with certain people. Um, hypersensitive people are always, um, we're always sensitive to everything that is around us. And, um, we always just want to fix something. We want to fix it. We want to fix it. And, and everything is not up to us to fix all the time. And, um, we can get taken advantage of because people know a hypersensitive person and they know that they're caring people. And so people will come and try to use you and take advantage of you and, and things of that nature. Or, um, for instance, if someone tell you something, well, Hey, I'm going to do this and, and you know, and will you be there? And then you're sitting there waiting for this person and here they have decided to do something else. But they didn't tell the, the person, they didn't tell the hypersensitive person that I decided to do something else. And here you are sitting there waiting. So, you know, um, hypersensitive people are very good people in the sense that if they give you their word, they're going to hold true to their word. They're going to stand on their word. And so if they tell someone they're going to wait there and they're going to be there for them and then the person reneges, that hypersensitive person is sitting there, you know, waiting for them to come through when they don't come through. And so um, you're left feeling all messed up inside, you know, and then you're angry and it's like that, you know, why couldn't you tell me or call me or why couldn't you say this or why couldn't you let me know you weren't, you changed your mind? You know, we don't, we can confront the situation, but we don't, it doesn't actually get all out of our system that easily. And so we're constantly thinking about why did that person do that to me? You know, why did they want me to wait for them or they wanted me to be here and then they didn't show up when they said they were going to show up. So it stays in us very, you know, every, it just stays inside of us. It doesn't go anywhere. So we're constantly thinking about it and we're constantly pissed. And so therefore our whole day is kind of, you know, going to be with that tone of, the person doing what they did or, or you know and so we're, we we don't know how to just drop stuff and just let it go and go on about our lives and so uh, being a sensitive hypersensitive person it's a beautiful thing in a sense um you can love nature and you can love the 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 tweeting of the birds you know outside your window or you the, you love the rain falling down on your roof and you know you're looking at the rain outside your window or something like that it's a beautiful thing in that sense because we can be in touch with nature you know we take long walks and we're just in touch with nature and we can sense and feel everything about nature and the 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 the, the, the trees you know falling the the the, the the trees whispering, you know, making noises and things. And, and so that's a beautiful thing about the hypersensitive person. We feel nature. We feel everything. And that's beautiful. But we also, um, on the other hand, we get the the negative side of that, you know, where we're always trying to um, be there for everyone. And, and, and everyone is really not worth our time to be there for. Because sometimes people are just coming to waste our time. They're coming to take our time our precious time away from us and so we can get distracted you know we can be over here helping someone and when we really shouldn't be there helping them it's like they're wasting our time you know and so we have to be very careful about um who we give ourselves to being a hypersensitive person we cannot um give ourselves to everyone because everyone is not worthy of it and so 
we have to start recognizing the signs when people want to just waste our time because our energy as a hypersensitive person is good energy you know people love the energy when we're around them it, it's a good feeding that they get when they're around us um however we have to know when to feed a certain person and when not to feed them and and we also have to know to um, not let them feed us all their negative stuff all the time we have to know no i don't want this plate i'm stepping back you know no you always do this to me you always feed me this type of food and i don't want to receive this food food anymore so we have to know when to deal with certain people when to step into certain situations when to stop dealing with certain people and when to stop dealing with certain situations as hypersensitive people because we are um really beautiful creatures you know we really are but our um our beautiful plates don't have to keep going out and getting trashed on and stumped on and, and dirtied up they don't have to keep happening to us like that so being a hypersensitive person is a beautiful thing, but we must know where to put ourselves at all times. And, and we must know um, the word no, when we're not going to just keep receiving the same type of treatment from people that just want to mistreat our beautiful gift. Because it's a beautiful gift to be hypersensitive. I think it is. So um, I hope this video has helped someone. Um, and because like I say, for many years, I thought something was wrong with me. I couldn't understand it. I'm like, what's going on? Why am I like this? And, and, you know, I really didn't like being like, you know, hypersensitive. I didn't like it. You know, I'm like, dang, I don't like picking up everything in the room when I walk into it. I picked that whole room up. I can tell you, you know, just walking in, I know that whole room already and I can feel it. And I just, I didn't like it. I, I was like, wow, I don't like this. But now I love it. It's a beautiful gift. And, and it's just, it's precious from Almighty God. He gave this gift to us, this hypersensitive person gift. It's beautiful. But we do have to um, know who to give this gift to and who not to give it to. So I hope this video has helped someone. If you like Please like it, um, subscribe to my channel, and please leave a comment. I would love to hear what you have to say. I really would. Um, this healing journey is a learning journey, and so I love to learn. I love learning um, as much as I can learn. So I thank you all for receiving my food. Thank you for enjoying my plates, and you all have a wonderful day. This is Team Food. God bless and be Bless.